hello everyone and welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to look at a pattern printing question which was asked in previous nlth papers and might as well you can guess that it can be asked again so let's look at the pattern printing question so it is not a simple one wherein you just give some kind of input and get the result and output it's not like that it's an intermediate kind of a question so let's look at the question and try to solve it so for the given input you need to print the desired pattern as an output and the input will be n that is the input number and then you have to print the pattern as desired in the question so let's look at the sample input and output so for the given input that is number four you have the resulting pattern and for the number three you have the resulting pattern as shown in the uh, table so if you look at the pattern closely so let's talk about the first input that is uh, number four you can see that you get some details if you compare the same input with the other output that is for the number three you can see that there are some details which the question is trying to give you which will help you to solve the coding question so if you look at the first input that is four you will see that the output pattern has a horizontal length that gets increased only up to four times after which you will see that there is a decline in the pattern in the length of the pattern and the numbers also get decreased as well similarly in the case of three you will find that uh, for the input three you have the output in which the largest horizontal length is only up to the third line following which in the fourth line again has the same line length and then it gets decreased after the next line and then it follows back the same pattern which it was following initially so this is the type of pattern which we want to print this is the first set of information which you get from the question the second information which you get from this pattern is that if you look at the last element of every horizontal line printed there is no star printed after it which will help you to write a code because in this case if you look at the first set of resulting pattern where the output is one there is no star printed after one following which we have two star three so there is a star printed after two but not after three similarly in the third line you will see that the star is printed between four and five and again five and six but there is no star printed after six so this is one of the informations which you get from this question that will help you to write the code so let's now try to solve this question and see how this code will work for this uh, resulting pattern which the question is asking for so since many of you have been asking us to write or provide codes in c++ so here it is we are going to write this question in c++ language so first of all let's uh, start by including the necessary header files so this will handle all of them so we don't need any other files to be included that should be enough so namespace std so we are using the std namespace and let's define a main function that will return zero so it's a good programming practice to follow this kind of a principle so anyways let's start first of all we need an input so first of all there will be an integer n so let's define integer n following which we know that uh, we will require two loops to iterate and to print our final output for that we will require two loops and for those loops we define two variables say i and j following which we need a number that will get actually printed and that will be modified uh, further to print the rest of the output so for that we are going to use a variable say c and uh, let's start by uh, defining c equals to 1 because our output starts from 1 and not from 0 so we want c to be 1 so now let's start so first of all we will have the input and if you are using c++ this is really easy so we read c in n now once we get the input that is the number n we require to write the for loop that is as the for loop that will start from i equals to 1 it will go till i is less than or equal to n and we are simply incrementing it so that should be pretty straightforward to understand inside of which we write another loop that will be the loop that will actually take care of printing these values now it will start from j equals to 1 we'll check and go up till less than or equal to i and we are incrementing it now inside this second loop that is the nested loop we are going to take care of two things first of all we need to print the value which has been demanded in the particular order secondly we need to take care about the stars that will be printing between the numbers so from the question and the explanation which i gave about the question you are pretty familiar with it you know that the last element of each horizontal row which is getting printed does not have a star after the last element gets printed so 
we need to take care of that test case so we know that if we are going from j equals to 1 to less than equal to i we have a range over which the values will be printing so we need to check that if j is less than i in this case we will be printing the value that will be c following which we have a string concatenation that will be star now obviously c++ programmers know what we are doing wrong here so we will be rectifying it in a minute so i have given you a basic idea at what we are going to do however this will still produce the wrong output because we are doing a concatenation of an integer and a string so that will give us a wrong output because it will print unnecessary characters and that will not be the desired output so we need to convert this integer into a string using the inbuilt uh, to string method so you know about it that uh, it is helpful for converting your integer to strings now once we convert the integer to string we will be going to print the value that will be c and since c starts from the number one once it goes in the next line it has to be incremented so we have done the operation at line number 15 which will help in taking care of incrementing those values that is c plus plus in this case and if this goes well and we reach an element where the element will be the last element it has to be just printed so we have taken care of the particular case where the elements are printing along with the stars in between and if this is not the case which means that if j is not less than i so j can be equal to i that will be the last element so in this case we are going to print simply the value that will be uh, the value of c again let's convert it into a string so we are going to print it and then for the next line which will be uh, done as an output we are just taking care of the incrementation at the line number 20. so we have dealt with the case where we are iterating starting from the first line of input till the nth line of input which is going to be printing in an horizontally increasing order and the last line of output that is the nth line will be the largest output in this case so we have dealt with these conditions now now since we are printing it in each case once it is done once every line is printed we have to take care of moving on to the next line which is not taken care of yet so we are going to write c out uh, we can write either end l that is the end of line or we can simply write slash n i would prefer slash n because it's much faster so we have taken care of moving on to the next line once our output gets printed so we are basically done here now now what we need to do is since our largest output or the largest horizontal line has been printed we need to look or handle the cases where the output will print in a decreasing order so let's start by writing c equals to c minus n we are updating the value of c because now the value of c will start decrementing after this so we have written it again we need to write a for loop and in this case we will now start in a decreasing order so we write for i equals to n i is greater than or equal to 1 i minus minus that is the decrementation so we are moving in a descending order and since again we need to print these values so there will be an inner loop obviously so in this case we have for j equals to 1 j is less than or equal to i j plus plus so these four loops are the most essential parts which you need to take care of because that is the only thing which will help you to print the correct output so if that is not handled properly your output is not going to be proper so now in this for loop again we need to do pretty much the same thing because uh, the output has to be printed in the similar fashion but in this case again we are finding that if j is less than i which is the condition which we were using to uh, print the values along with the stars so we can directly copy it and paste it here and if that is not the case which means that all the other elements are printed and now j is going to be equal to i in that case we are going to print the value of c by converting it into a string and following which we will have the increment so we can just copy this line of code here again so we are now dealing with these numbers which are going to be printed along with these stars as well as the number which is going to be printed after which there will be no stars printing so we have dealt with both those cases so now here basically our program has finished but the one problem which we still have is that 
the values will not be decrementing in the particular manner if you look at the code which we have written here what we were supposed to do is print the values and then decrement the value of c because in the second part of your print or your pattern you will find out that the numbers are decrementing however we have made an increment and that increment has been made purposefully because the next line of code which we are going to write will deal with the value that should be the desired value of c once the horizontal line has been printed so that should be the desired line or that should be the desired value of c so what we can write is c equals to c plus 1 minus 2 into i now you might wonder why we are writing 2 into i this is because we have incremented the value of c twice here so if you look at the statement at line number 34 and line number 39 we have incremented the value of c once our operation has been done so if it goes in the if condition or the else condition in either of the cases the value of c is getting incremented by one now for updating the value of c to a lower value we need to decrement it but since again we are writing c plus one which means that the values have been incremented twice we have to decrease the values by one as well so for that particular thing we have written the logic at line number 42 so that should handle all the cases again like the previous case we were printing the lines and we need to move on to the next line so we can write c out slash n that will take care of uh, moving on to the next line once the output has been printed and uh, the last part that is return zero is just written for following good programming practices if you don't even write that uh, c++ compilers will handle it in uh, today's date so that should not be a problem so now let's try to run this code and see if we are getting the desired output the one which we desire so we write four and as you can see that the output has been printed in the particular manner which has been desired in the question so you can see that the first line starts by printing the number one following which we have two into three following which we have four into five into six or a star four star five star six and the fourth line which is this one in this case if you look at it it is the largest that is seven star eight star nine star ten now once we have reached this level we need to decrement this value as well so the next line has the same length following which all the values start getting decremented in the similar fashion and uh, that is the program all about and we have written the code for it so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video and got something out of this pattern printing question make sure to subscribe to the rebox channel and also join our telegram channel you people have been giving an amazing response to our videos in some previous days and i thank you all for that and i have also talked with our team we are dealing with the different kind of issues students were facing in our videos so we are taking care of that as well so if you have still not joined our telegram channel make sure to join there and also attempt the quizzes which we post there on a regular basis that can help you to assess your level of knowledge and is also helpful for your upcoming examinations so thank you for watching this video once again make sure to subscribe to the channel and as always keep learning and keep programming